how far can an Excel professional go? How high could they climb? The answer, I do not know myself, since I'm still on that journey. But I can say that I have come farther than I could ever have imagined. This isn't your daddy's Excel though. The superhero has some new and awesome sidekicks. One too many, some might say. There's Power Pivot, Power View, Power Maps, Power Query. Where do I start? And that's the question I heard being asked at a BI conference I got a chance to attend. The answer came from the audience itself. When someone said, Power Pivot is the gateway drug of BI. And my addiction started back in 2010. I was on the commerce platform team, millions of transactions every day, hence millions of rows of data, somewhat hard to handle in Excel. Along comes Project Gemini slash Power Pivot. I give it a try, load some data into it, and hey, here's what it looked like. That kind of looks like Excel Sheets. It's cool. And how about doing something useful? Something simple. How do I calculate the total amount? Oh, some amount? Wow, that looks quite like an Excel formula. I know a thing or two about those. The first step from Excel to Power Pivot felt like a very natural, very gradual step. What I hadn't realized was that how far that stairway extended. And that's a great thing. I get the first hint of that the very first time I try to do a VLOOKUP in Power Pivot. And, and then I realize I do not need to do a VLOOKUP. I could create a relationship instead. And by doing so, in this case between the sales and the customer table, I could take my measure sales amount and slice and dice it using any of the customer attributes. So I don't just stop there. I create one relationship and another and another and one more. And before I know, what I've created here is a dimensional model, a star schema with a fact table at the heart of it and dimensions all around. Now that is super cool. But I couldn't care less as long as I could play with my data. But then someone throws a curveball at you. Say, hey, sales amount, sales quantity, all good. How about if I want to know how many customers are buying? Now that's a little tricky. So you may have to look that up. But then you figure it out. Distinct count customer ID. Now that's easy. But what's really cool is that you can use that new measure and leverage your existing dimensional model to analyze it any which way you want. And that's when it hits you. This is powerful. This is like taking all the energy of nuclear power and putting that inside a small submarine. That's what Excel is running under the hood. That's what Power Pivot is about. Now, thankfully, very capable, while Power Pivot is very capable, the learning curve is fairly smooth. This graph is taken from Rob Colley's excellent book, DAX Formulas for Power Pivot, a very good place to start. So all of this got me to stage one, personal BI. I had pulled in a lot of data into my Excel and Power Pivot workbooks and had done some really cool analysis. The sticking point though was in being able to share this data with others. Here I made some changes. I uploaded my workbook to a SharePoint site, put in a central location, and I was able to do automatic refreshes. But most importantly, now I could create multiple PowerView reports connected to that central model to cater to all my users. We also made some changes on the back end where instead of connecting directly to the data source, we connected via a SQL database. That gives you a lot more flexibility and capabilities. Now you can do that, or you can try using Power Query to load data directly into your model. At this time, we were running full speed, meeting the BI needs of a group, until we run into a solid brick wall. And that was a 100 MB file size limit imposed on a SharePoint site. Now we could try to probably up that limit, but it was clear. What we needed to do was to switch from Power Pivot to SQL Server Analysis Services tabular model to achieve real scalability. In order to do that though, I had to fight one of my inner demons. 
To be able to switch to SSAS Tableau would mean that I would need to use Visual Studio. Now I asked myself, I've never been a developer, is that really my cup of tea? Turns out, I had nothing to be afraid of. Visual Studio has a very easy to use wizard which lets you import your Power Pivot model right into a new Visual Studio project. And once you have done that, this is what it looks like. Hey, that's strikingly similar to the Excel Power Pivot interface. Now there are some minor differences, many new additional capabilities. All of that I've outlined on my guest blog post on PowerPivotPro.com and here's a quick link. This got us to the big leagues. Now we are running SSAS Tabular, completely unchained, and meeting the BI needs of all of our organization. You remember that 100 MB file size limit that I spoke of? Keep in mind, that's the compressed size limit and can hold a lot of data. Well, we blew right past that. LexBI, as we're known, our model now is 3 gigabytes in size. It has 7 perspectives to cover different subject areas, 60 tables, 800 attributes, and more than 600 measures. We have 100 million plus rows in total, and we cater to 500 plus users. I had never imagined I would be where I am, that I would do the things that I have done and impact the people and organizations that I have. Is this just my story though, an isolated account? I believe not. I believe this is your story. I believe this is the story of all Excel professionals, maybe in different stages of writing. Individuals and organizations need to look at BI, especially Excel and the Power BI toolset, in a new light to be able to see the new possibilities. So open your minds and write the next chapter in your BI story.